Right, this video is going to deal with dimensioning or reporting results and doing some constructions. So the first dimension I'm going to report is this location of this diameter and it's dimensioned on the drawing from this corner which was our original alignment. So I'm going to put it back to that original alignment. So I'm going to recall an alignment. So I go insert, alignment, and recall. That allows me to recall a previous alignment so I don't have to go through all the steps of redoing it. So I select A1, that's my original alignment, and I click OK. And you can see the trihedron snaps back to that original location. So now I'm going to report the position of that center diameter. So I go Insert, Dimension, and Position. And I select that circle, which is circle 1, from my list. So I click on that. I'm going to uncheck the auto, and that's typically what I'm going to do because it gives me some more control over this. I don't really need to check anything or change anything else, and I do create and close. And you can see it builds that on the left. Now I need to edit these nominal dimensions. So I'm going to click on right by the mouse, and I'm going to do tab, and I'm going to enter in the nominal dimensions. And that nominal dimension from the drawing is 4.890. And I tab, tab, and then I'm going to enter in the nominal of the y-axis, or the y-direction of that feature, and it's 1.970. And I tab, and then I put in the diameter size from the drawing, 2.3. 8.2, and I tab and I enter the tolerance, and the default tolerance is plus or minus 5, so I enter in 5 thousandths, and my minus tolerance is 5 thousandths, and I tab until I get to the tolerance for the position in the drawing, and it's 0 0.010, and I tab and it says carry back to the feature, we can check the don't ask me again and yes, and again the don't ask me again and yes. And then we're done with that one. So now I'm going to position or report the location of these four circles that I probe. So I need to change back the location, the nominal, the alignment. So I want to make sure I put the cursor at the end of the program, and I'm going to go Insert, Alignment, and Recall. And I'm going to recall that A2. That's the alignment to the center diameter. I click OK, and you can see the trihedron snaps back there. So now I'm just going to go Insert, Dimension, and Position. And I'm going to select all four of those circles that I did. Uncheck the Auto and click Create. And then it puts them all in my program. Now, these have plus and minus X and Y locations, so you need to pay attention to that. So in this Measure column, we can see the plus and minus locations. So when I edit these, I'm just going to tab over. So this one needs to be minus 1.2, and then I can tab. And the next one is plus 1.2 because the actual measurement is positive, so it's pretty close. So I just enter in 1.2 and I tab. And I enter in the diameter, which is 0 0.590. And I tab and my tolerance is plus or minus 5. And my position tolerance is 5, so I enter that in. And I tab. And I can uncheck or check that, don't ask me again, and check yes. Then I just continue on and enter all of the nominals for each one of those dimensions. So now I've entered all of the nominal dimensions and tolerances relative to what the drawing requirements are. So you can see that we've got them all in here. So the next video is just going to pre keep continue on with the reporting and construction of features.